Bob Collymore Biography Family Nationality Wedding and Wife Bob Collymore Biography Bob Collymore whose full name is Robert William Collymore was born in 1958. He is a Guyanan-born British based in Kenya. He is the chief executive officer of Safaricom, a multinational telecommunication company. As head of Safaricom, which is 40% owned by Vodafone of the UK, the 55-year-old leads a company seen as a national institution but that is often accused of monopolistic tendencies. Bob Collymore uses the word dominant before correcting himself. Why don't we call it ubiquitous? I think that's a nice word. Safaricom has 19 meters customers in a country of 44 meters, which translates to nearly every adult. It reported revenues of KSH 116.5 BN, $1.3 billion, last year and has developed an international reputation for innovation Bob Collymore early life. Bob Collymore was raised by his grandparents in Guyana for 12 years and when he was 16 his mother, who had moved to the UK, brought him to join her in London. As the only black child in his class, he tried to be wallpaper to avoid getting beaten up. After school, he had to forego a place at Warwick University because he was not eligible for funding. I wanted to go to university and I disliked not having gone in for some years after I wished I'd gone, he says. Now it doesn't matter. But, I would always advise a young person to go to the best university you can find. Unable to pursue a degree, Bob Collymore spent his time filling forms as a junior underwriter and working as a train announcer while pursuing his passion for surrealist stuff. Were it not for his mother, he might still be selling his oil paintings along the railings of Hyde Park. But she joked she would evict him unless he got a serious job and got him an interview at British Telecom, where she worked. He was given an entry-level job as a clerical officer. Bob Collymore Career Bob Collymore's career took off when he joined the UK's Cellnet in 1993, just as the corporate world was starting to venture into mobile telephony. I was walking down a path no one else had walked and I thought, this is good because the rules aren't written and I'm just going to make the rules up as I go, he says. We took some risks. This changed thing, it is actually quite exciting, it's good, and you will make mistakes and you will stumble and fall and that's quite neat. The hankering after new ground and love of adaptability has served him well. I didn't go to the smart university, this is probably the only thing which has ever distinguished me, he says. Nothing beats this job. Bob Collymore Job History September 2010, present, CEO at Safaricom February 2009, September 2010, Chief Officer Corporate Affairs, Vodacom, September 2006, February 2009, Governance Director, Africa, Vodafone. With Dot Lead and coordinate the governance-related strategies and activities for Vodafone's holding in Africa Middle Dot ensure adherence to relevant shareholder agreements. With Dot Lead and develop joint projects that improve the operational performance of the African operations. With Dot partner with the local management on key projects and areas of customer service marketing and product development. With Dot Lead and facilitate the sharing and dissemination of best practices into and out of Africa to deliver efficiencies in business improvement and operational performance. Middle Dot support the formulation of the financial forecasts for Vodafone's African operations, with adjustments ranging up to $100 million, and influence management to meet the KPIs. Middle Dot represent Vodafone as a key foreign investor in Southern Africa and Kenya April 2003, April 2006, Marketing Director, Asia, Vodafone Group. Middle Dot initiated the Vodafone 3G Terminals Convergence Program for Europe and Japan. Middle Dot mobilized the worldwide handset vendor community behind the Vodafone 3G handset program. Middle Dot re-engineered the terminal development process in Japan which resulted in reduced cost and improved time to market. Middle Dot established and led a 60-strong group team in Japan to successfully launch a range of new handsets and mobile content to the Japanese market. Middle Dot led the strategic relationship with Japanese handset vendors on behalf of Vodafone Group. July 2000, April 2003 Global Handset Purchasing Director, Vodafone Group. 
Huffman. Let a major organization redesign to integrate the handset supply chain activities across the Vodafone group of subsidiaries and affiliates. Huffman exceeded cost saving targets of £33 million by 30% following the group's acquisitions of Air Dutch and Manisman. Huffman led the consolidation of handset specification and testing across the Vodafone group companies including subsidiaries, affiliates and partners. Huffman led a number of key product development initiatives to support the group's technology and marketing rollout, most notably the launch of the first camera phones and of Vodafone Lib. In 2002, December 1998, July 2000, Handset Purchasing Director, Vodafone UK. Huffman integrated the handset purchasing operation across the Vodafone UK organization in 1999. Huffman led the remodeling of the Vodafone UK prepaid handset business. Huffman built effective relationships with the handset vendors and achieved on-target cost savings. Middledot consolidated the UK warehouse, distribution and service operations into an outsourced organization. July 1994, December 1998, Purchasing Director of Dixon's Stores Group. Middledot grew the Dixon's market share from around 5% to more than 10% of the UK cellular market and more than 25% of the fixed terminals market. Middledot responsible for developing and managing relationships with key network and hardware suppliers. Middledot as a board member of Dixon's Group Purchasing Limited, had an integral role in the development of the group's purchasing strategy. 1994-1998, Purchasing Director, Dixon's Group PLC. July 1994, July 1995, Handset Strategy Manager, Cellnet. Middledot responsible for working with the handset suppliers to develop terminal functionality that optimized the services of the network. Middledot developed a handset strategy for Cellnet that leveraged the infrastructure trading relationship. Middledot introduced a number of new suppliers to the UK market. Middledot key member of a small team that delivered a number of affinity projects across the automotive and banking sectors, most notably the launch of the Barclay card phone. January 1978, July 1994, various management roles at British Telecom. Middledot a number of purchasing, marketing and corporate relations roles in British Telecom. Middledot responsibilities range from training, making corporate training videos, purchasing a range of consumer products and managing BT's range of cordless telephones and mobile handsets. Bob Collymore Award. In 2012 Bob Collymore was awarded the Moran of the Burning Spear, MBS, Bob Collymore Wealth. In Bob Collymore Individual Assets Declaration 2015, Collymore revealed he earns KSH 10 million a month, adding up to close to SH 109 million per year. The Safaricom boss is also worth over SH 200 million in assets and cash both in Kenya and overseas. Bob Kalimur, who has been working for over 30 years, has a residential house in London, UK worth 530,000 US dollars, about KSH 53,000,000, cash balances in local banks worth 203,000 US dollars, about KSH 20,300,000, Seferic Home Limited shares worth 180,000 US dollars about KSH 18,000,000, and Vodafone PLC shares worth 871,000 US dollars, about KSH 87 million. He also declared his dividends and income of 5,800 US dollars, about KSH 580,000, in the last 12 months. Bob Collymore Nationality. Bob Collymore is a Guyanese native. Bob Collymore Children. Bob Collymore has two children which he got with his first wife before they separated. After marrying Wambui Kamaru he will now be taking care of Wambui's three children. 10 Things to Know About Bob Collymore 1. Bob Collymore's full name is Robert William Collymore. 2. He is originally from Guyana, a country in South America. 3. He went to school in Guyana but at the age of 16 moved to the UK with his family. 4. He started earning money when he was 12 years old by selling art pieces from plasticine molds. 5. Kalimur's first real job was as an office boy when he was 16 years old. 
6. The Seferic Home Boss wakes up at 5.15am every day. 7. During his early years, Kalimar wanted to be a painter and he says he would still want to be one. 8. He does not like Kenyan food but rather prefers Chinese and Indian foods. 9. He is 57 years old and a father of two children. A son, 21 years old who schools in the UK, and an adopted daughter, 7 years. 10. Bob enjoys flying helicopters. He spends upwards of SH 35,000 an hour hiring a chopper. In an interview some years back, he said that's how most of his money is spent.